What's going on, Sumolings? Welcome to another AppSumo product walkthrough webinar. Appreciate you guys joining us today. Uh, today we have Daniel, who's here from QPromote. So QPromote organically automates your content promotion, allowing topically relevant people to share your content across top social media sites. It's on AppSumo right now, starting at just $49. So you can head over to AppSumo to check it out. Uh, and today, Daniel is going to give us a walkthrough to see how you guys can use this for, for all of your content. Uh, before we get started, two things I want to mention. One, we will be sending out a replay later. So if you have to jump out early at any point or you miss anything, we'll get that replay out to you so you can get caught up. Uh, and the second piece is if you do have any questions, feel free to drop those in the Q&A box below the video and we'll circle back to those towards the end. But apart from that, Daniel, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Really excited yeah. about being on that Sumo again. <laughs> Awesome. Glad to, glad to have you guys back. Um, yeah. How many, how many deals have you guys done with AppSumo over the years? Uh, well, with a mix of Q and Q promote, probably, probably four or five, I think. Um, yeah. But they've always, they've always gone down really well and that's why we're back because we love, we love AppSumo and what it brings to the company for sure. That's awesome. Great. Well, uh, well let's uh, not keep people waiting. I think we can, we can just dive right into the, uh, the screen share and walk through you want to if you want to turn that on and i will turn my camera off okie doke awesome All right so hopefully you can see my dashboard now yep looking good so i've logged into my q promote dashboard and you can see here my active promotions so these are all the pieces of content i've got actively promoted in q promote at this time you can also see the number of shares and clicks that it has at the moment um I will click over here and you can see my expired promotions. And hopefully that loads as soon as possible. <laughs> see, this is where recording works better and you can edit out these slow moments. Let me click refresh. Here we go. So here's all my expired promotions. So this is all the things I've previously promoted through crew promote. You can see my shares and clicks at the end of the 30 days. And obviously they're all completely different because all promotions have different results. It's all based on images you use, the headlines, the share text, you know, and you know, depending on what makes people click on your post. Anytime I can come into my expired promotions and I can click re-promote. By doing that, I can either make edits to it. So I could choose a new category and try to target a completely new audience. You know, as long as it's still relevant to the post, we'd accept it. Or I can click re-promote it now and that will basically, as it is, re-promote it straight away. And obviously it will go through the re review process again. So for, for a minute, what we'll do is go through actually promoting a post. <clears throat> so I'm going to promote this link from the Q blog. What I need to do is enter the URL here. Q will then load up some information about it from Open Graph, so the, the image, the title, and the summary of the of the post. Click next. This is where you choose a relevant category to the post. So obviously, it's all about remote working. So try and type in that. So yeah, we've got a remote working and distributed teams category. And click that, and it goes to the next stage. At this point, this is where you can design how your post will look once it's shared out on social media via the Q users. So obviously we've got one for Twitter and one for Facebook and LinkedIn. We'll start with the Twitter one. I'll highlight this bit here. So here we've provided you some best practices, you know, when creating the Twitter share. So hopefully it will increase overall engagement with your post. Obviously it's really tempting just to share the title but uh, we found that asking a question or sharing a quote or statistic uh, from the actual post really helps boost overall engagement. You know, what, what would make you click on the post? You know, if you, if you think you would click on that post, then, you know, most likely other people will as well. So here's something we prepared earlier for the Twitter post for this particular post. I'm going to put that link in the middle. We've also found uh, that 
people tend to click on post when the link is in the middle of the, the actual text. Um, it, it, weird how it makes such a difference, but that's what you should do. You know, when you're using QPromote to promote your, your articles, you should really do lots of different tests like this to see what makes a difference for you. Um, you know, we, we're asking lots of questions here. What we want is people to reply and engage with people's posts. You know, when people are sharing this out on social media, we, their followers are going to see this. So you, you need to write it in a way that sounds as though it's that person sharing it, not that it's from you, if you know what I mean, the, the, the author. It's always a good practice to include the author's username in Twitter shares. Obviously, that obviously incre increases the amount of engagement you'll get on the posts. You can also upload your own image if you prefer, but we also we all we always uh, prefer open graph images because then that will actually show up on Twitter and on Facebook as a full image link like this. It's easier to click on. So there's the Twitter share, and we'll move over to the the Facebook share now. Obviously, this is slightly different because we don't want to include a Twitter username and things like that. We've got a lot more space to to write as well. Um, but in this case, we want to keep it reasonably similar. <clears throat> so we're still asking all the same questions where we've included the author's name, but not obviously their username because you can't tag on Facebook or LinkedIn unless you're directly connected to that person already, which is very unlikely with Cubemo. Uh, because obviously all the Q users are sharing this out and they're unlikely to be connected to the, the author already. Um, so there we go. So we've included all those questions, hopefully that will increase lots of engagement. You can see a nice preview down here when you click save. So now we're ready with the chair text, we click next. At this point, obviously with an AppSumo deal, you're gonna get 25 credits for your 49 bucks. And at this point it will automatically use one of your credits for one of these promotions. So I'm ready to hit save or submit. Oh. Post is now in review. So at this point, you'll see in a minute when it refreshes, it goes into in review. And now it's down to our content review team to go to your link, check it out to ensure it matches our guidelines. And once it is, it will be approved. And it will start being shared by our Q users across Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And then you should start to see new Twitter mentions popping up throughout the next 30 days. And then you just keep doing that throughout the month with all your posts. And you'll always have new mentions, new ways to engage, and new opportunities to drive traffic to your content. And that is Q Promote in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't know if there's been any questions so far. I'm not sure how many people are on the webinar. No, we don't have any questions yet. But um, so who would you say is like the, the target users that you find that are using this? Like I imagine it's all over the map with brands and individuals, but is there one specific type or how somebody would know whether or not this is the best fit for them? Well, that's right. It's, it, is, it is really for a mix of different type of companies, but we found that it's great for freelance writers or small bloggers or SaaS companies with their own blogs because what it does is it gives you so many, like hundreds of opportunities on social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, to engage with the relevant audience on social it gives you those opportunities to you know discuss the post in question ask questions um you know answer people's qu queries that people that comment on those posts it just provides so many opportunities to get people to go to your site and then obviously content marketing being what it is they'll find out about your actual service underlying um it's just it's it's all about providing those opportunities to engage with a relevant audience yeah mm -hmm. Awesome. So let's say somebody wants to, wants to use this. They think it's going to be powerful for them, but they're not quite sure what they should actually be writing about. Like, do you have any, any tips or hacks for how somebody could, could use this or how they could figure out what kind of content is going to work best? Um, well, when you first start to keep remote, you'll, you'll see a splash screen called our quality pledge. And what that would show is all our guidelines for curate curation and what we like and what we don't. That, that guideline alone would be able to tell a user what sort of content they should be creating to drive growth through content via content marketing. Because if you're literally just creating content all, all sales focused, all about your company, your service, no one's really going to find it naturally through Google. Um, no one's going no to want to read it. You know, they need to find your company, your service naturally, organically. 
Um, and I mean, our blog itself is all about providing value adding content that people are going to find useful and interesting. And it doesn't really have, it doesn't really ever send people directly to Q or Q promote. We just, we just rely on that organic link between the two. So we always say provide really value adding content and the rest will just happen naturally. Got it. Okay. Um, some other questions I'm seeing, uh, what categories are determined for content and are categories updated over time? Uh, yeah, categories are added all the time. Um, obviously they're always growing because when we first started Q, we had like 15 categories because uh, we really needed to nail down how we do the whole process, the reviewing and actually getting people to share the content from those categories. And that's grown to over 500 topics to this day. And that's always going to grow depending on the needs of Q users and what they're going to share out on social media. Um, let me have a look at that question again, just in case I haven't answered all of it. <laughs> no, no, I think that, that answers it. Um, and okay. so how are these posts promoted on the platform? Who's promoting them? Like what does that user base look like and how are they sharing it? So the Q users, they're, they, they, they're either individuals. Again, it's very much the same, you know, freelancers and small companies. And we've, had, we've even got some big companies like SEMrush using Q, sharing out content. Um, uh, you know, they, they come into Q, they choose categories that are relevant to them and their audience, you know, their, their existing following. And then we would simply send out the suggestions, i.e. the Q promote content, your content, to them as content suggestions and then they would automatically or manually share your content out to their followers awesome all right um let's see here close out of this so what kind of results could somebody expect or, or what results are people looking for i imagine it's you know some more it would be things like traction or virality or things like like readers but but are there any more like hard numbers that somebody could expect or what what goal should somebody have when they're going into to using Q promote yeah like i said in um, previously when i was going through the dashboard is that the results are so different for each post because obviously people react differently to different posts and this is why it's so important to test different things to see how you can hit the nail on the head more often um Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> uh, in terms of what you can expect, I mean, you're always going to get hundreds of mentions on Twitter. It's harder to track the mentions on Facebook and Twitter, um, LinkedIn because we don't have that direct tagging, but they're definitely being shared. And this is great. It's great for SEO and social signals and things like that. Um, yeah. Again, clicks are so it's it's, impo it's impossible to guarantee a number of clicks that you're going to get because mm -hmm. people react differently to different posts. One post could do a thousand clicks. One post could do a hundred clicks. It's totally impossible to sort of guarantee that anything's going to happen because we rely on real people sharing and clicking on your content. But like I said, it's all about testing and eventually you'll get to a point where you really understand what that type of audience needs and clicks on more. And then you can just do more of the same. Awesome. Cool. Um, what should somebody do to ensure that their post gets approved? Okay, yeah, we've got obviously a lot of uh, review processes that we go through uh, to ensure that the, the, the content that we share to our queues is just, you know, super quality, super relevant, and not sales focused. Um, obviously, you can have a little mention of your service now and again, but nothing overbearing and no crazy pop ups or annoyances or crazy formatting or really small texts and or loads of swear words and things like that. I mean, it just needs to be high quality visually appealing and we'll, we'll accept it. Yeah. But we, uh, we do go into more detail on our, on our website. When you first, first sign into Cube Promote, you'll see a quality pledge, which will literally walk you through the whole entire review process to make it easy. Got it. Cool. Um, would you mind navigating over to the AppSumo deal page and kind of going through exactly is included in this offer and at the different tiers? Yep. Get up my screen before I uh, share it. Okay, so 
at Cupomo is slightly different than most deals on AppSumo, I would have thought, because with Cupomo, what you're doing is actually paying a one-time fee to get a number of credits. You can buy as many of these bundles as you like. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, no limit to that. And basically each credit, so one credit will give you 30 days of promotion for one post. So basically what you're getting is 25 separate promotions for 49 bucks. And they're usually obviously 40 bucks per promotion. So it's a pretty, pretty crazy deal. Um, anything else you want to know about this page? Um, no, I guess that's, guess that covers all of it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy enough. Um, all right. Well, unless you, and do you have a, a roadmap? Are there any exciting things that are coming up or that you guys are working on or what would you recommend to, uh, to somebody getting started with this? Um, the, well, the most exciting part about Q Promo is the Q side and what we do with that side, because obviously the more companies that we can integrate with that opens up to more users. And the more users we have, the more sharers we'll have of Q Promote content. Um, so we're, we're going to continually integrate with more companies. Um, I don't know if I can mention a few now. Potentially Social Champ, uh, Content Cal. Um, I, we've had so many requests for social monials. I think it's because they've been on AppSumo as well that there's such there's yeah, so many yeah. requests. Uh, so we're probably <laughs> going to reach out to their team. And if they see this, you know, reach out to us as well. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, I guess we can, we can wrap it up here quick and dirty. Yeah. It's a, it's a simple tool to get going, get using, and it can have a, a powerful impact on what you're trying to do with, with your content. So we're super excited to, to have Q promote back on AppSumo. I think it's going to be a great campaign. I think uh, for all the users, again, everything's backed by the AppSumo 60 day guarantee. So feel free yeah. to get it set up. Would you recommend somebody starting with a piece of content that they already have or, or kind of starting fresh with Q promote kind of creating content specifically for it. Yeah, no, no, definitely. If you've got, if you've got existing quality content to, to publish, yeah, go for it, promote it now. I mean, is it, if, as long as it's still relevant and fresh and people are going to want to read it now, promote it now. Definitely. Awesome. Cool. Great. Well, thank you guys very much for, for hopping on and for doing this and for the, the sumo links you joined us again, it's on AppSumo right now. I believe it's just appsumo.com slash Q promote. There might be a, a hyphen in between Q and promote. Hyphen. Um, yeah, hyphen, yeah. <laughs> hyphen. All right. Q U U U dash promote. Um, awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be talking to you guys soon. All right. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks very much. Thanks everybody. All right. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.